Hey there! Is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So, no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So, welcome to church. Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon a lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Opening prayer, let us pray. Our Lord and Savior, your will reigns in our lives everlasting. May we glorify it in Jesus' name. Let your kingdom come and your presence be manifest in our lives as you will do an online worship. As we gather as family in, in our homes, visit us with your presence and help us to increase our knowledge of you. We welcome your Holy Spirit as you help us grow in maturity and strength. Be our Alpha and Omega. Bless us beyond measure and fill us with your peace. We pray that you will bless our internet connection to be stable as we have come to worship you today. This is our prayer in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Mayroong buntag sa atong tanan, sa tanan na tanan ng kaisipuna na nasa ilang mga balay. Uh, Mayroong buntag. Uh, it's another Sunday, no, na itong pasalamatan at itong huwag na Diyos sa uh, iyang kaayo, sa itong mga kinabuhin. Uh, Masipag na tayong mga pinagian ka ron, but still, uh, let's praise the Lord na binitan niya pa sa God. Lala siya kanunay sa ito. Let's praise the Lord.
Sorry guys. Dollar hearts. Dollar voices. Dollar legs. Psalm 121 A Song of Degrees I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures. 
altars here below. Praise Him of ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy to worship prayer our father in heaven this is the day that you have made we surely rejoice and be glad in it in your presence as we surrender ourselves in adoration we ask that you would come by your holy spirit and inspire our hearts today may your words bring us comfort and encouragement to face the challenges in life we pray that you will use mightily the man you will be using today to preach thy word we ask you to keep us away from distractions we ask this for your glory and praise amen hello good morning po sa lahat have a blessed sunday po salamat po sa mga viewers po natin ngayon and to all our viewers would like to assure you that the church you're viewing today is a bible-based church so thanks for watching today and uh, we hope that you will enjoy the word of god this morning uh, sa lahat po ng mga pamilya ngayon na nasa bahay, maraming salamat po because uh, nagtipon-tipon po tayong lahat at nagsasabay tayo just to worship our God through this streaming. And we, we, are, we are still thankful sa ating Panginoon dahil sa mga technology po na ginagawa niya sa atin o binigay niya sa atin, we can still uh, worship God kasama ang ating mga pamilya. And truly, God can be worshipped everywhere because God is everywhere. So, salamat po sa mga nag-view po ngayon and uh, I hope and pray that the Word of God will touch our heart sa umaga pong ito. And this month, we are in a series of messages entitled, Throw Hope in Troubled Times. Alam niyo po, kailang kailangan po talaga natin ng hope sa panahon na may mga paghihirap sa buhay, mga pagsubok sa buhay, mga kalisod sa kinabuhi. Kailangan yun natuog hope. Kailangan natin ng pag-asa para malampasan lahat ng mga pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay. Last Sunday, Brother Richard Maxino talked to us the topic about hope in never failing truths. Uh, our God never fails us. Ang sabi nga doon, may tatlong points that God will help us in times of our need, God can be trusted, and God will deliver, deliver us if we take refuge in Him. Those are unfailing truths. Hindi talaga pumalpak ang Diyos natin noon. Siya ay talagang totoo sa kanyang mga sinabi noon at noon pa. And today, let us continue the topic, uh, the series with a topic entitled, Hope to the Assurance of God. Kailangan, kailangan po talaga natin ng kasiguruhan, yung assurance sa panahon ng trouble times. At alam niyo po, ang sarap sa pakiramdam kung may nagbibigay sa iyo ng assurance sa panahon ng paghihirap. Yung bang may magsasabi sa iyo na, huwag kang magalala, tutulungan kita. Huwag kang magalala, nandyan lang ako sa tabi mo, di kita pababayan. Ang sarap sa feeling nun. Nakakabigay ng relief at nakakabigay ng courage para harapin lahat ng mga pagsubok sa buhay. Totoo po, totoo po. Ang sarap nun yung may mag magbabak up sa'yo, yung may tutulong sa'yo. Ang sarap po nun. Alam ko po na nakaka-relate kayo dito. Pero alam nyo, iba sa iba ang feeling kung ang nagbibigay sa atin ng assurance ay ang pinakamakapangyarihan sa lahat. At yan ay ang Diyos. Yan po mismo ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Ang atong text is from Psalms chapter 121, verse 1 to 8. We will answer the question of the psalmist in verse 1 na ang tanong po niya doon, From where does my help come? Now, ito po ang isang tanong. Kani siya nga pangutana, isa ka-common nga pangutana sa panahon nga na atay mga kalisod sa kinabuhi. Bitaw na, asa ka agikan ang mutabang? Kinsa ka ang mutabang sa ato ah? Lisod kayo at tubangon ang mga pagsulay sa kinabuhi kung wala takabalo kung kinsa ang mutabang sa tua. And I tell you, in our Christian life, there are times in our life that we will really face uncertain problems. Just like for example, na mga nag-graduate last March, wala kapaso pero nakagraduate. Or na mga nakagraduate na pero hanggang ka ron, wala'y trabaho. Those are uncertain problems sa kinabuhi. Wala ka nag-expect na pag humanin mo graduate, di di ka makatrabaho. Napuuban sa tua, natanggal na trabaho bago nag-lockdown. Napuuban sa tua, when we receive a terrible uh, news, gikan sa ato ang doktor na natay terminal na disease. That's a big problem sa kinabuhi. 
or uh, nagawon-nahon nato kung napabatay trabaho na balikan after the ECQ or the GCQ. It's it's very hard. Unya napagyud ning ginatawag nato na pandemic. Sa ato ang kalibutan karon, wala ta kabalo kung ano siya sa mahuman. Pero ting lisuda gyud. Napuyuban sa ato ang kanang nilapas na sa kalendaryo ang edad, pero hantod karon wala pa gyapoy uyab. Isud pud na oi. And certain times po na sa kinabuhi. Lisod kayo na. And those are all part of life sa ato ang kinabuhing Kristiyano. And in times like this, sa panahon sa mga ingani, diri ta makahuna-huna kung asa ka ha, gikan ang mutabang sa tua. O kinsa ka ha, ang mutabang sa tua. The good news is for today, ang good news sa tua karoon ng mga Kristiyano na naanay answer to that question. Sa Old Testament, na answer na na ang question. And actually, we are not we are not the first people who wrestle with the uncertainties of life. So, sa Psalms 121 is one of the 15 Psalms of 120 to 134 that each are that are each known as a song of ascents. Kanisya nga mga Psalms, and most likely these Psalms were sung by pilgrims or the people of God as they traveled to Jerusalem for three annual feasts. Kanisya ng mga kanta from Psalms 120 to 134. These are the playlist of all the pilgrims or yung people of God together when they travel the dangerous road papunta sa Jerusalem. Kaya napakaganda po ang, ang mga chapters po na ito. And these songs reminded us kung gaano ka great ang ating Panginoon. Psalms 121 verse 1 to 8 shows us the assurance from God. Nandito po ang apat na assurance na ibinibigay ng ating Panginoon. First, assurance na binigay ng Lord natin. God assures us of His help. Brother Richard uh, talked to us last Sunday that when we need help, ang God na ito mutabang yun sa ito. Ah. In this time, God is reminding us that He assures us help sa panahon na manginahanglan ta. You know, I will give you a short background para mas masabta nato ng gisulti din na point sa, sa verse 1 to 2 sa 121 sa Psalms. Ang city of Jerusalem was located on a hill. Ang, ang kanal na city nasa taas sa hill. Kauban dito, nandun din ang temple na kung saan lahat ng mga anak ng Diyos, they will worship God together. His covenant people, they will worship God. Na parang ganito, that, that it was located at the highest point of Mount Zion. Parang ganito po. Ito po yung nakuha ko na, na picture sa internet. And ito po ang, ang, ang isa sa mga present picture ngayon doon sa Jerusalem. That, that, that Jerusalem ay nasa taas ng hill. Ganun po ang Ganon po ang ang pinapakita dito sa Psalms 121 verse 1 and 2. Kaya nga sa verse 1 and 2, ganito po ang tanong nila. I lift my eyes to the hills doon sa taas sa Jerusalem. From where does my help come from? Now habang yung mga pilgrims, the, the people of God are walking at nakikita nila ang hills, nakita nila ang Jerusalem na nasa taas ng hill. Ito po ang tanong nila. On the road na ma sa, sa, sa madadaanan natin, sino kaya ang tutulong sa atin? And you know, the beautiful affirming response was in verse 2. Ang sabi po dyan, My help comes from the? From the Lord who made heaven and earth. You know, this response affirms that God is the creator of the heaven and in earth. He created everything, the galaxy, every star, lahat po nang nasa heaven and earth, siya po ang gumawa nito. The point of this affirmation is that God assures us His help. Kasi nga, siya nga ang creator natin. Kaya mga kapatid kong Kristiyano, as we travel through life, as we encounter trials and terrors, as we face an uncertain future, we can say with great confidence, pwede po nating sabihin, my help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Pakisabi nga po, sabay-sabay po tayo dyan sa ating mga bahay, My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and on earth. Yan po mismo ang assurance po natin. Sa panahon na dumadaan tayo ng mga pagsubok, sa panahon na muagit ang pagsulay, kabalutang ang mutabang sa tua, ang ginoo. Derek Kidner, isa ka-author, ingun siya, the thought of this verse Lips beyond the hills to the universe, beyond the universe to its maker. Here is a living help. Remember this. Here is a living help. Primary, personal, wise, and immeasurable. 
my dear brothers and sisters, ang atong ginoon nag-assure sa ato ah, bilang mga anak niya na nag-save sa iyang blood by His Son, Jesus Christ, kita itagaan o assurance sa ginoo that He will give us oh He assure us the help. He will give us help. Kaya nga, si Paul ang sinasabi niya dahil sa pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin sa Romans 8 verse 31 to 39 that no one can separate us from His love dahil mahal na mahal tayo ng Diyos. Wow! Amen! Palakpan mo natin ng Diyos. Yan po ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa atin. Yan ang assurance sa atin. Muna, si David, nag-add siya sa 46 verse 1, ingon siya, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Remember this word, ang God natin, a very present help in times of trouble. Sabihin ko po sa inyo, Marami po mga absent ngayon sa panahon ng pandemic. Maraming mga absent ngayon. Yung mga nagsabi noon na nagsabi na wag kang mag-alala, nung magsabi sa atin noon na nagsabi wag kang mag-alala, tutulungan kita, hindi kita pababayaan. Nasaan na sila ngayon? Present ba sila? Well, hindi naman lahat absent. Pero marami ding absent. Nasaan sila sa panahon ngayon ng pandemya o sa pandemic? Pero mga kapatid, Kahit napakaraming absent ngayon ang nagsabi sa atin, nagbigay ng assurance sa atin na tutulungan tayo. Kahit na, ang good news mga kapatid, huwag kang mag-alala. Ito ang totoo. Ang Diyos ay palaging present para tulungan tayo. Amen? Yes! Palaging present ang Diyos. Hindi po siya nag absent Yan po ang pangako, ang assurance ng ating Panginoon sa atin. Hindi niya tayo kinakalimutan. Dili siya malimot sa ato. Kaya mga patid, paalala ko lang po isang comforting words para sa atin. Hindi man tayong lahat nakatanggap ng tulong sa gobyerno, pero alam ko po, lahat tayo ay nakatanggap na ng tulong galing sa Diyos. Amen? Lahat po tayo nakatanggap na ng, ng tulong galing sa Diyos. Kung ikaw ngayon ay nanonood sa live na ito, ibig sabihin, nakatanggap ka na ng tulong sa Diyos. Bakit? Buhay ka hanggang ngayon! Di ba? For almost... Three months na, buhay tayo na nandyan ang pandemic, nandyan ang sakit na COVID-19, buhay po tayo. Kaya tinulungan na tayo ng ating Panginoon. Ibig sabihin, tinulungan na tayo. Diba? Alam bang palakpak dyan? <laughs> palakpak na natin Panginoon. Ha? Pakitingin nga katabi mo kung buhay pa. Ah, buhay pa. Ah, ibig sabihin, tinulungan ng Panginoon yan. Kaya nga, buhay pa kasi may tulong galing sa Panginoon. So first thing, let us be reminded that our God assures us of His help. Second, God assures us of His vigilance. Yung, yung vigilance means ang pag, pagbantay niya sa, pag, sa tua. Ang iyang pagbantay sa tua. Uh, remember that the road sa Jerusalem, paalala ko lang po, na ang road sa Jerusalem ay hindi po super highway. Hindi po, hindi po smooth. Hindi. Actually, ang road sa Jerusalem was rag and treacherous. Napakahirap. Batsi, lisod kayo. Daghang kay mga bato and one could easily slip and fall or twist an ankle and be in a great pain. Actually, ang dalan padulong sa Jerusalem, dili siya dalan na tarong eh. Mahirap po siya na daan. Kaya nga, as the pilgrims, yung people of God, as they travel to Jerusalem, kinakanta nila ang kantang to kasi alam nila mahirap eh. Mahirap ang daan. Kinanta nila ang verse 3 to 4. Ganito po ang sabi nila oh. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Now, ginamura ginasulti sa ginoo dere tungod sa pagbantay niya sa tuwa. Ginaingon sa mga pilgrims tungod sa pagbantay sa ginoo sa tuwa. Dili ta madamag, dili ta masaktan kasi ang nagabantay sa tuwa wala nagatulong. I tell you my friends, God is always vigilant. Our God is always vigilant. I know the word vigilant means to keep watch or stay awake. Pag sinabi po natin vigilant, talagang palaging nakatingin at hindi po natutulog. And God does not sleep. In fact, hindi ka nag nagtitake ng nap ang Panginoon. He doesn't get so busy over His entire creation or that His eyelids get heavy, hindi po. Talagang nakatingin palagi ang Panginoon. Kaya mga kapatid, ang good news po, hindi po natutulog ang Diyos sa kakabantay sa atin. Ang atong ginoo, sobra pa sa security guard, sobra pa sa bodyguard, unsa pang mga guard niya. 
Sobra pa ang ginoo, anak, kasi hindi siya natutulog. May isang tao nga nagtanong kay, kay General Alexander the Great, yung Greek Alexander the Great, ang tanong sa kanya, paano po kayo nakakatulog na we are surrounded with a lot of troubles? Present palagi ang troubles. Alam niyo po sagot niya? Sabi niya, nakakatulog ako ng mabuti. Kasi nandyan ang aking faithful guard na si Parmeneo naka-watch sa akin palagi, nakabantay sa akin. Wow! Kaya pala si Alexander the Great nakakatulog ng mabuti. At ganun din po tayo mga kapatid. Alam nyo kung bakit nakakatulog din po tayo ng mabuti? Because God is watching over us. He neither sleep nor slumber para makatulog po tayo peacefully. Kaya mga igsoon, kung gihatagan na, gihatag na to ang atong tibuok na pagsalig sa ginoo, peaceful ang atulog na to kasi kabaluta nga ang ginoo nagabantay ka na to, firme. Now, Pastor James, Brother James, nga nung naman lagi mga Kristiyano nga dili makatulog og tarong? Well, that's true. Marami pong mga Kristiyano, marami mga tao ngayon, dili makatulog og tarong. Dugay makatulog kung gabi, ano man, sigig worry sa mga butang na dili na ito makontrol. Sige gunahuna, kanong sa kamahuman ng COVID-19. Sabi nga ng kaibigan ko, si Brother Pax Padilla, lahat, ng, lahat daw ng problema may solusyon. Kung ang problema walang kung walang solusyon, wag mo nang isipin. <laughs> Yun ang sabi niya. Ay mga kapatid, ang God po natin nagbibigay ng assurance. Nakadepende lang po. Nakadepende lang kung gihatag ba nato ang atong full trust sa When we give our full trust to God, gihatag nato atong atong tanang pagsalig sa Ginoo, sure. Nga maka, maka makapadayon ta peacefully sa atong kinabuhi kasi ang Ginoo nagabantay sa tuwa. Third, God assures us of His watch care. Dili lang vigilant ang Ginoo. Na, na pagid siya'y pagbantay o niya na ay pag-care sa ito. Unsa ni nga care? Ang pag-care diri nga ginasulti, masabta na to sa verse karon. So the travelers, habang nag-travel sila padulong dito sa sa city of Jerusalem, nakita nilang hill, ilang gi-encourage ang matagusa. Ingon sila sa matagusa sa verse 5 and 6, The Lord is your keeper. Ah, this person ah. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Alam niyo po, bakit binention po dito ang sun? Di ba ngayon, napakainit, ano? Init kayo, 40 degrees or more than that ang init karon. Pero kabalo mo, the sun in Israel was brutally hot in daytime. Init yung kayo. Mas mainit pa sa atin ngayon. Pero gusto ko po ipalala sa lahat nga kung naiinitan tayo ngayon, mas mainit po sa imperno. <laughs> mas mainit po sa imperno. The moon light was taught by some in ancient cause of disordered mind. Uh, sabi nga nila, ang Latin word for moon is luna. Kaya, dyan natin nakuha ang English word na lunatic. Ang sabi ng isang author na si James Montrup Mary Boes, ang sabi niya, what the psalmist really means, though in figurative language, is nothing either of the day or night can harm us if God is keeping guard. Tingnan mo ha, Walang makakasakit sa atin sa gabi o sa araw kapag ang Diyos ang nagbabantay sa atin. Yun ang sabi dyan. God is our covering against every calamity. He is our shade against the visible perils of the day as well as the hidden perils of the night. Ibig sabihin po, kapag ang Diyos ang nakabantay sa atin, hindi lang siya nakabantay. Nandyan siya para i-care tayo para hindi tayo masaktan sa mga bagay na nakikita. And that's what we call visible and hidden perils or dangers sa buhay. Sa ating buhay, Kristiyano, visible perils are those that we can see or anticipate. Dalawa po yan eh, visible at saka invisible. Yung visible is yung nakikita. Meron ding tinatawag na hidden perils. Ito po yung mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita. Kagaya po ng virus, hindi po natin nakikita yan. Pero ito po ang good news. Nakikita man o hindi, ang Diyos po natin kaya tayong protektahan ng ating Panginoon. Ganun po siya ka-powerful. Ganun po ang kanta na ini-encourage ng bawat isa sa lahat ng mga uh, people of God, the pilgrims, habang papunta po sila 
doon sa city of Jerusalem. Ganon din po sa atin. Habang papunta po tayo doon sa new normal na sinasabi, o habang papunta po tayo doon sa victory, sa kabila ng mga pagsubok sa buhay na ito na ating pinagdadaan na napakaraming, napakaraming pagsubok, habang papunta po tayo doon, let us encourage one another na ang Diyos natin ang kasama natin. Kaya nga sa mga panahong ito, wala pong puwang ang alitan, walang puwang ang away-away, wala pong puwang ang inggitan. Ang time po na ito ay ang pag-i-encourage natin sa bawat isa na ang Panginoon ay magpropoteka sa atin. And lastly, God assures us of His protection. Yan, pro-protectahan tayo ng Diyos. Hindi lang titingnan, hindi lang i-care, kung talag kundi pro-protectahan talaga. Alam niyo po, the pilgrims traveling to Jerusalem, they encourage one another of God's ever-widening promises. Not only na ang Diyos ang magpro-protect sa kanila sa kanilang journey from stumbling, our God also will protect us our whole existence. Yan po ang sabi sa verse 7 to 8, The Lord will keep you from evil. Ito po yun. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your going in from this time forth and forevermore. Look at the encouragement na habang kinakanta nila. Ini-encourage nila ang bawat isa na ang Diyos natin. Hindi tayo hahayaang ma, ma, ano, malugmok sa kasamaan. Hindi nga tayo hahayaan na ang buhay natin ay masisira. Lahat ng papasok, lahat ng lalabas, ngayon at hanggang magpakailanman, sinasabi nila sa bawat isa, propotektahan tayo ng ating Panginoon. Yan po ang dapat na lumalabas sa ating mga bibig kapag kausap natin ang ating kapwa-tao. That we will encourage each other. Alam nyo po, the word keep or keep or keeps or keeper, lumabas siya six times dito na chapter nito ng Sam. Lumabas siya sa verse, chapter 21, verse 3, verse 4, verse 5, first statement, verse 7, first statement, verse 7, second statement, and verse 8, lumabas po siya na tayong lahat ay ikikip ng ating Panginoon from any dangers o yung buhay natin ay ikikip niya. Pero ipaalala ko lang po, God is not saying that believers will not fall into trouble or difficulty. Ang ibig sabihin lang po nito na, na although uingatan tayo ng Panginoon, pero hindi po ibig sabihin na hindi tayo dadanas ng mga trouble sa buhay. Hindi po. Hindi po yan ang ibig sabihin. Alam niyo po, ang ibig sabihin po niyan, that in spite of our stumbling in this fallen world, for those who know Jesus savingly, we can assure that we will be brought safely to glory. Ibig sabihin po, kahit masugatan po tayo, bisag magkasamad-samad ta, bisag magkadamag-damag ta, our soul is saved. Papunta doon sa glory ng ating Panginoon. Kaya po, kahit ang katawan po natin, magkakaproblema po ito, ang importante po yung soul po natin, pinotektahan ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Kaya po, alam ko, sabihin ko po sa inyo, ang Psalms 121, eh, nagsasabi po sa atin na ang Kristiyano ay is a long way na parang sila papunta sila sa city of Jerusalem, tayo papunta sa langit. Napakarami pong mga daan na mga talagang hindi po hindi po siya madali. Kaya ang sasabihin ko po, ang buhay ng Kristiyano ay mahirap. Pero mas mahirap kung hindi po natin kasama ang ating Panginoon. Kaya tanggapin na lang po natin habang nasa mundo po tayo, napakaraming challenges. Pero mas mahirap ang buhay, mas lisod ang kinabuhi kung dili na to kauban ang Ginoo. Well, lisod ang kinabuhi sa kalibutan. The only difference kung kauban na to ang Ginoo, each step we take, each a breath, each breath na we breath, we know that we are preserved by God and we are accompanied by our Lord and He will rule our life and He will keep us from any evil. Kaya po sabihin ko, iba talaga ang experience na kasama natin ang Diyos in trouble times. Wala po itong katulad. Kaya po sa mga kapatid ko na nanonood ngayon, mga kaigsuunan na natanaw karon. Kabalo ko wala exempted sa tuwa sa mga trouble. In this time wala exempted sa tuwa. Everyone of us is struggling, pero lahi ra gyud kung kauban nato ang Ginoo and he assures us. Naghatag siya assurance sa tuwa nga ihatang tabangan, ihatang bantayan, ihatang i-care, ug ihatang protektahan sa tanan 
nga mga kalisod sa kinabuhi. So dear my brothers and sisters, let us put our hope to our God. He is always present to help us in times of troubled times. God bless us all. To God be the glory. Lord's Upper Scripture, Mark chapter 14, verses 22 to 25. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. When he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. He said to them, Truly, I tell you, I will not eat again from the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Lord's Supper Prayer Lord Jesus, what a privilege to be able to come before your throne of grace and partake these emblems that symbolizes your body and your blood and the remembrance of your atoning sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for dying on the cross for us and paying for the enormous price for our sins so that we may be forgiven. May we never forget the enormous price that was paid on our behalf. We will never forget that we have been bought with a price, the precious blood of the Lord Jesus. May we live for Him from this day on, knowing that your body was broken and your blood was spilled for us. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. These pieces, broken and scattered, in mercy gathered, mended and old. Empty handed, but not forsaken. I've been set free, I've been set free. Tithes and offering scripture, 2 Corinthians 9, verses 6 to 8. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, you have all that you need. You will abound in every good work. Yes.
Announcement for this May 10, 2020. Let us continue to pray. That God will heal our land. Let us pray for protection. To all our frontliners. Let us stay at home. Be productive. Join our live streaming. And glorify God. Keep safe always. God bless. Does my help come? My help it comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let my foot be moved. He who keeps me will not slumber. Behold, who keeps Israel will need. Slumber no sleep. Oh, the Lord is my keeper, the Lord is the shade on my right hand. The sun shall not hurt me by day, nor the moon by night. Sing prayer. Loving God, we thank you for the opportunity to worship you via online streaming. We thank you for every family's gathered in every home to worship you. We thank you for hearing our prayers, feeding us with your word, and encouraging us that we must hope for the assurance that you have given us. We know, Lord, that you will keep us safe and protect your people from any harm. We know that you are greater than our troubles and even greater than COVID-19. We also know that you are always in control and you know exactly what you are doing. And we believe that nothing is impossible for you. We pray, Lord, for all the families affected on this crisis. Please give them your provision. We pray for the protection and care for all our frontliners. We pray for healing to those who are sick and suffering from the sad disease. We pray that as Christians in the midst of this pandemic, we can still make our mission and glorify you. Take us and use us to love and serve you and all the people in the power of your spirit and in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Benediction Scripture 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 and 14. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice, strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <laughs>